It's got knit to you. It's a thank you party for you. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting grandmaster. And you do so much work all- We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh, Jean? I. Uh, huh? Is this Jean when she's shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I. This is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Did you really? Even the issue with the... F it was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well, what about... Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant... Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Pre Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Of course, we also have Master Dealer to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin! It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. We should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Oh, it is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering G. I want to thank you again.
Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The lion tooth knight represents Vanessa's past. A past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future. A future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above, or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Contracts of youth. You humans were once again. Fair. 
the way we shall see the return of that sweet Since real depth I have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chise will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. All right, Lord Carver, you may be correct. It seems to me that this right of supervision is What do you want, Mitch? Oh, and speaking of that, 